Hi guys, it's Jake here. Uh, welcome to Canadian Cutting Edge. And today we're gonna do something very different. Uh, not folding knife related at all. And it's not even fixed blade knife related except for in the context of carbon blades. Um, so that's a small segment. Uh, for bushcrafters, it's a large segment of the knife categories. Um, carbon blades have a problem with them, potential problem with them, in that they rust easy. Uh, definitely much more easier than, much more easily than uh, stainless steel knives. And you've got two ways of approaching it. You can either be very careful with your knife and let a patina slowly build on it over time. Uh, what a patina does is it actually, you know, provides a little bit of extra protection to a carbon steel knife, um, such as these old, old hickory knives that I've got. I haven't even done a review on these yet. I will do with them soon. Um, these old hickory knives are, um, you know, carbon steel, and they will rust pretty quickly, pretty easily, if we don't put a patina on them. We have a couple options. Uh, thyme, uh, there's a nice vinegar and mustard patina. You can look those up online. I won't be doing one of those. Uh, those are pretty common, easy to do, uh, very easy to do. And there's also chemical patina where you use purchased chemical, well, I guess you have to purchase vinegar. You can make vinegar, I guess. But uh, something like this Super Blue is very common. You'll see a lot of videos online about this. And that's what I'm going to demonstrate on today, how I use Super Blue to put a patina on carbon steel blades. Stick around. All right, hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. It's a different angle that I've used before. Uh, ho hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't work, I'll just edit this, I guess. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll just do one of these knives, and if it works, I'll do the video, and if it doesn't work, you know, I'll do the other one. Two tries. So we've got an old hickory blade here, seven inch, carbon steel. Uh, the first thing that you wanna do is clean it off. And so I've used rubbing alcohol not rubbing alcohol. I've used denatured alcohol and I've cleaned off the blade and the wood and everything. And um, I should be wearing my gloves at this stage just because oils from your hand are not good to have uh, in this process unless you want an uneven kind of patina and a patina that's not quite as good as it could be. All right, so I've got my gloves on. I've washed the knife with, uh, yeah, I do have a mark on there now, don't I? So I've got the rubbing alcohol. I cleaned all the fingerprints and all the oil, all the residue off of the blade. You can use a paper towel, you know, just be careful because uh, your blade is probably still sharp. I will be sharpening it afterwards, of course, but. So yeah, you wash off your blade, get all the oils and everything off of it. I've got my super blue. I don't have another container handy. I'm just gonna use this for my container. This is just a lid from a plastic container that I've got upside down, so if I make any spills, it'll be contained. I'm already downstairs so that I don't make a mess on my kitchen table. It's a Almost clear liquid. It's got a slight blue tint already in there. You don't need very much of this at all. And you can do, you can apply this a number of ways. You can use a cloth, you can use something else, um, use whatever you want. Uh, I'm gonna use this foam brush. Now, one thing that helps is make the blade a little bit warmer than room temperature. This is just a heat gun. I have it on the lowest setting. Huh. Since I used this knife to open that package, I've got some bluing already on the tip here. There you go, not much at all, just a tiny bit of warmth. Add it on there, I should have this closed. And so I make this wet, and all you do is wipe it on. And look at that, immediately. 
you can see the spots where I didn't clean it properly. Oh, but that's just going to leave extra um, effect. Going to make the patina look kind of unique and cool. But you can clearly see I did not clean it well enough to make it perfect, but that's okay. And you just wipe it all over, make sure you got it everywhere. You can even do the uh, the bit on the spine of your knife if you want to. The chemical will do nothing to the wood, as far as I know. <laughs> and if it does, you know, this is a $7 knife, not a big deal. So I want that patina all over the place. And you just leave it on there for 30 seconds to a minute. So I'll probably cut a little bit of time out of here so that it comes up to uh, a minute. Uh, if you want it very dark, you leave it closer to a minute. If you want it pretty light, you leave it closer to 30 seconds, you know, whatever you want. So I've got some water handy right here, uh, just regular old tap water, because that'll neutralize this acid while I'm waiting for the uh, patina to get strong on that knife. I'm going to put the lid back on this bottle. There we go. We don't want it spilling all over the place. So now we're close to a minute and I just take this and I've just used a tall garbage can full of water and uh, I'm just going to swoosh it around in this water to neutralize it to stop the uh, bluing effect. I do the handle as well now because I put the uh, little bit of patina of the blue stuff on the uh, handle as well. And then I take a clean, dry rag and I wipe it off. Now, you could either use compressed air or anything else to really get the, uh, the steel dry. Uh, especially these old hickory knives, you want to get the steel dry because this steel is a very low cost steel for them. And I've noticed a couple of times you've got tiny little pits in the steel. That's going to hold water and you don't want to hold water. Another way to dry it off quickly is with a little bit of hot air. And that's all it takes. Your patina is almost done. Uh, what you do now is you wait uh, half hour, 45 minutes, whatever, just to make sure it really is totally dry. And then a very light oil. You know, you, even if you have just like three in one oil, put a little bit of oil on it. Uh, I'm just going to use my regular knife oil, lubrication oil that I use for knives and coat it on there and then let it sit for at least a day before I do anything else with this knife. And so now I've got a nice dark patina on this. Uh, now you can see what it started like from the uh, other old hickory and how dark that patina is. You can go lighter than that and that is just by putting it on quickly, uh, let it sit for just a short time. You, who says you can't do 10 seconds? It's your knife and then neutralize it in water. Because uh, you can always make it darker by doing another application, but you can never make it lighter, at least not easily. So there you go. Put it on, do it, you've got your patina, and then you got your knife. A Little bit of oil and you're done. That's all it takes. One other piece of advice is, um, since this is a corrosive and uh, it's dangerous, some people are nervous about using a knife that they've treated on anything that they're going to eat. Um, personally, once it's neutralized, it's neutralized. That's my opinion. You know, once I put it in water, it's it's now become inert. It's not doing anything else on the steel. But still, I probably wouldn't use it to cut acidic things like citrus and then eat the citrus fruits because citrus citric acid will eat into this and some of this chemical that's on here, it is a coating after all, will leach out, you know, and maybe onto your fruit. So I'd be careful still, but I wouldn't be paranoid about it. That's just me. 
you do what you want with yours. So thanks for watching. Remember, always cut towards your chum and not your thumb. Bye now.